<laughs> my name is Nana Scheinfluke. Actually, my real name is Elizabeth, but when I was two, I told people my name was Nana, and it just stuck. I have to tell you, I am having more fun than I have had in years. Every dance you do, you finish it. And because the nature of dance is you, you work, you get it up, and it's gone. This was a great opportunity to take the best of the piece. And I am working with the most wonderful people who have such good spirit, such good energy, such good heart, and are mature dancers, which is what I'm really loving about the situation. I, every one of the dancers in this concert actually knows who they are in a very deep sense. Because of that, when they dance, as a group, they are still maintaining their individuality. And so you see this wonderful commune of people dancing together, everybody doing everything slightly different from the other people, which is just beautiful as far as I'm concerned. And although there is unison movement, there is a lot of movement where everybody can just rock out and be themselves. I love Edward Hopper. I, lo I love the feeling that I got from his pains just standing there, just going like, wow. I love this man for his understanding that life is composed of the mundane and the spiritual. And they're, they're right there in your face all the time together. And you have to figure out a way to put them together and live your life in the middle of that joy. Uh, my name is Carla Belchenko, and I'm a CMC company member. Having the opportunity to do Windows is really brought Nana and I actually closer together because um, it's, she kind of took a chance on me doing this piece, I think. Um, she, I think, saw something in me that I could do it, because this has been a, a solo that she had done in the past. So for me, it was really special that she saw something in me that I could do it. The piece is a little bit, it's kind of dark, but it's really beautiful at the same time. Um, there's these three women um, in the background that really aren't doing a lot of moving and they're representing these paintings. And there's this one woman um, that the entire time she's on stage, she's smoking a cigarette. And I was like, that is my favorite part. What I saw when I saw the video was that it was um, kind of en encompassing all these ideas that she had has been talking about for so long, sort of like the explosion of um, energy throughout the, the lines in the body and um, it but I've been working really hard basically trying to figure out how I can explode from my center and do this to the best of my ability to make her proud. Carla's finally learning that which is really great. I, last week she finally said oh you know what I understand the joy of doing things this way because you become the dance when you when you sound and see form and you don't try to do the dance uh, you have the possibility of becoming the dance and this dance requires ballet technique but not using it in ordinary forms so she's learned to take this wonderful balletic stuff that she does and start to throw it from core in a wild uh, other ways Jo John, somebody. The, he was a. He was sort of a. The, he was a. He was sort of a. Jo John, somebody. No, he was, he was a. He was sort of a. The, remember that guy? He was sort of a. Jo he was John, a, he was somebody. Sort of a, the, no, he was sort of a. I would say John, somebody's about passing out, about the, the physical actions of passing out and finding the limbs go in different kinds of odd directions, which is very different from the other ones. Like each piece has its own physical signature. John, somebody is about individuals, so it's perfect to have all these people do this dance in this wacky, crazy way. And uh, I let them pick a lot of things, and then I worked with what they picked. I said, pick these things, pick, pick six pictures and then show me those pictures and then let me see what we can do with them. So they had a lot of input as to what the, uh, the interior movement intention was with a lot of the places in it. It was just such fun to do that and, and I have enjoyed tremendously like recording a lot of John, somebody that I never had a chance to fix because I had to get that dance up really fast and there were parts of it I went, oh my goodness, I can see something else could happen here but it's too late to do that. 
the thing I found out, I never knew who I was as a dancer. You know, I, I, I knew I was a dancer, but I didn't know what made me different from other dancers. I just, I really didn't understand it. But when I try to go teach a dance that I have done to somebody else, like, the, like I, t I had to teach Mindy Ta, which was one of my favorite dances to ever dance, and Windows, um, those two dances are my energetic essence. So it's not me dancing in anybody else's form but my own. I'm mean, not dancing anything I learned from anybody else. My inner spirit is about throwing, be, being a fisherman, about throwing chi lines out and throwing chi lines around and pulling them back. Very Gurdjieffian in the fact that it's about uh, creating swirls of energy in fields and playing with them. And I am also realized that the other thing I've always done is I've always, my body is singing the song of the dance rather than sort of dancing the dance. My body is expressing the sound. Coming Forth had f like four other sections to it. When you take those sections out, which have a, there's a different flow between the beginning and the end of the dance, there's different statements being made, and if you sing the dynamics of the dance from the beginning to the end as an excerpted piece, it's very li it has something to do with the original piece, but it's a very different song. I just love Egypt. I've been that way since I was a little tiny girl. I knew they were crazy people and I wanted to know what they knew in some shape or form, whatever, any little teeny bit I could understand about it. That's why you do it. You do it for the high of the joining of your body, your soul, the movement, the space, the time, all that becomes one thing. And you just, there's this transcendent experience from doing that. That's why you do it. You, you don't do it to show off. You don't do it uh, to people applaud you. You don't do it um, to overcome. You do it for the joy of doing it. Uh, and trying to live, the as Toss says, the ordinary life lived extraordinarily.